Jake, it's been a few days now since the Friday night match against Carlton. What are the emotions a few days after the game? Uh, yeah, probably hasn't sunk in, to be totally honest yet. Um, disappointment would be definitely at the top of the list if I reflect on it now. I think just um, you look at both finals, you lose by a combined total of nine points and you instantly start thinking, what could have I done better in you know both of the games, um, but especially that Friday night against uh, Carlton. So, yeah, I think it's just really disappointing and... Um, Hopefully it sort of fuels, um, you know, a lot of the players to, um, you know, have a good reflection and have a good break and then come back ready to go next year because, um, yeah, we've probably learnt over the last couple of years especially that you don't get given anything in football and, um, yeah, we definitely have in the last two years so we'll have to reset and go again. As someone who's a leader with the club and in the back line, I know it's probably hard because it's so close to the season, but how did you see the defensive side of things for 2023? Yeah, I thought that we really stood up in, in some games that, um, you know, you probably don't think that you have a chance to win or you, you don't probably, I guess we use our term, you know, you don't deserve to win, but our defence sort of holds us in good stead and, and we're able to hold up our end of the bargain um, and we've had some new faces in there, which has been great. Like, obviously, we've got some young players in Judd McVee, Trent Rivers, um, Jake Bowie, who have really stood up this year. Um, and we've had a number of uh, guys come through as well, like your Daniel Turners, Adam Tomlinson sort of has come in. Um, so myself and Steve um, and probably Christian Salem, we've been there um, the longest and um, obviously lost Hibbo this year um, at the end of the year, but he, he was still able to play his role this year. So... Um, I think it's just been able to, um, yeah, it's been a really good year from a defensive point of view in terms of um, getting that continuity with a lot of guys. But um, I'm sure that, you know, every single defender will sit in their exit interview and, and talk about how they're going to get better, which is exciting because, you know, Trent's 22, Jake Bowie's 21, um, Judd McPhee's 19, like he's an, an amazing player for a 19-year-old. So I think it's really exciting and if we can keep holding up our end of a bar, uh, of the bargain, I think that um, the things will eventually turn. I feel like a lot of people touch on the young talent we have and the existing experience we have on the list. Do you feel like the group's really confident that we still have a window of success to come? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I think that um, it's funny, like people were sort of saying that we're, you know, might have passed the window and look at the ages and um you know you look at I, I look at the years um that I got drafted and the guys that the names are Petrarca um Brayshaw Alex Neil Bullen myself Ed Langdon you know we've just turned oh god I'm gonna forget my age here I think I'm 28 years old so like that's sort of in your prime so we, we understand that um yeah that you know we're probably closer to the end than we are at the start but um, I've just mentioned some guys in the back line that are you know, 22, 21 years old. Um, and we've got that throughout our whole list. Um, each line has got really young players that are exciting and it takes a few years to be able to be consistent. And um, I think that I, that's what I'm most excited about. You know, another preseason in Jacob Van Ruin, another preseason in Cozzy, um, another preseason in guys like Kay Chandler. And then through the midfield, we've got, you know, Taj and Bailey Laurie, like it is an exciting time to be a Melbourne fan and a Melbourne player. Like, um, I'm really looking forward to, you know, next year, which is scary to say because I don't want this year to be over, but the reality is that it is. Um, and, yeah, I think that we, for us to get better, those guys are going to have to step up. And then you just touched on then the Melbourne faithful, obviously a disappointing end to the year for them. But I think particularly among the football club, we've noticed how loud they've been and how great they've been this season. Has the playing group noticed how important they've been for the, for the team? Absolutely. I think that, you know, even when I first got to the footy club, the crowds that we're getting now, we were getting nowhere near that. Um, so we are just so, you know, privileged to be able to play at the MCG, but for the fans to come out every week and support us, um, I know it's probably been, it's been good at times throughout the last two years, but obviously the endings, both of them have been really disappointing. But, um, you know, our driving factor is, you know, to create success and it's, purely for the fans like we we want them to see a premiership at the mcg and um that continues to drive us so um even though it hasn't been the last two years we're going to keep striving for it and that's always in every single player's back of their mind and um yeah we've loved the fans this year